Welcome to this tutorial on how to use player leveling with leveled mobs. Check the video description for links for the wiki and links to install placeholder API if you need it. First, locate the default rule section in your rules YML file and locate player leveling. You will remove the comment by deleting the pound symbol at the beginning of the line. Make sure you leave the correct spacing. Next, you will locate in your preset section the player leveling preset and then you can change any of these settings to your liking. When you're done adjusting any settings in the rules file, make sure you run a lm reload command so that all the setting changes take effect. Here you will notice all the mobs spawning are either at my player level or below it. So now we're changing match level to false and changing use player max level to true. This will make it so every mob spawned is the exact same level as your level. Note that now every mob that has spawned is level 10 as it corresponds to my player level. Now we're making sure that match level is set to falls as well as use player max level. This will make it so the tier section is utilized as previously it was not utilized when either of those settings were set to true. Now when the mobs are spawning they are being assigned a level that corresponds to that tier section that we saw in the rules file. In order to get more information, we can enable debugging for player leveling. So we will go to our settings YML file and update the debug misc as shown in this screen. After you've done reload and spawned in a few mobs, you can check your console and you will see exactly what kind of logic has gone into assigning the, the level to the mobs. Using placeholder API or PAPI for short, we can hook into any third party plugin that utilizes PAPI support. Now we will go to the website for Aurelium skills in their wiki and we will find a placeholder that we want to use for our player leveling system. Once you've figured out which placeholder you're going to use, copy it and paste it into the variable setting in rules. If we look at our console now, we can see exactly what number it was fed from the placeholder that we selected and how it got the mob assignment. If you want to be able to utilize math functions inside of the, the variable, you can download an expansion for Pappy, the math module. This will allow you to utilize any kind of math functions. To test this, we will now use the Pappy parse function.
function inside Minecraft where we can test various variables and placeholders. Note that when you use the math module, there's a slightly different syntax as shown here. Once you've got the formula that you want to use, you can copy it and paste it into your rules file. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use player leveling in leveled mobs.